Hola, bonjour, well, how are Kamiti? Wow, go on. Hello. You know who these people is Arsenal's realist. We're just gonna do something simple today. I just wanted to have my hands free for a sec so you can see my posture and my beauty. Look at my top. But like I say, people, it's Arsenal's realist. We'll get back at you soon. I think it's about time you see my whole body. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for watching, people. Now, this is just a quick one. I had, well, I've got, I always get a few messages on Instagram and this and that, and you talk to people and that, and it's good. That's what it's all about. That's why I get stressed when comments don't come through, but some comments have come through. We'll talk about that later on another day. But yeah, I've been talking to a Chelsea fan from LA. He's a cool guy as well. And I just thought, do you know what? We didn't have this video you're about to see. It wasn't live. Me to him. This was him sending me a voice message and I sent him a voice note. But yeah, I thought, you know what, I might as well take a little look and see what's pop lopping in the ding dang dopping. So first of all, obviously, I'll introduce you to the guy. I go to uh, about 20, I do about 20 matches a season. Cup finals, I was in Baku, you know, I usually sit in the Harding stand at, at the bridge. Um, I do away matches, I go to a lot of the big stuff. So I go to plenty of, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a traveling Chelsea fan. So yeah, I work here in LA, but um, I spent a lot of time over there. I'm off to Guatemala you know, on Sunday, man. So if you want to see some tropical shit and, you know, I smoke cigars, I, I hang out, you know, I do my thing. But yeah, about 20 Chelsea matches a season. So I'm there, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in and around the culture. You know, I'm part of it. I see what happens. You know, so I'm, I'm really aware of what all the stuff that goes on with Arsenal. And, um, yeah, anyways, man, for me, Cronky in till the day I die, right? I never want that brother to leave because as soon as I, as soon as he does, things are going to change. But that's your thing. <laughs> See what I'm saying, people? The Chelsea fans in LA even want us to keep staying Cronky. The people closest. But I'm talking to you now, Jess Drums. Um... Big up yourself, safe for the comments and safe for replying. But I'm sending you voice notes and you're sending me the video camera back. Is it because what's going on? Is your voice button broke or something? And also I'd like to ask you is how, what do you feel about my assessment of Cronky being someone from LA? You might be able to elaborate a little bit more. And yeah, do you watch AFTV? And yeah, what do you reckon, bro? Arsenal's realist, yeah. Cheers, mate. Yeah, man, my, uh, my, uh, Vo voice thing, voice message thing seems to, um, maybe it's my phone it's rubbish, but on the Instagram it doesn't work so sometimes I send people videos you gotta you gotta deal with my you know, you don't have to look at your screen, but you gotta deal with my beard if you do, so but, you know, you got tentacles, so I mean, we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna hate on that, right? Uh, so anyways, man, yeah, yeah, I dig your content, it's all cool uh, I agree with everything you say, you know, I, I don't want your club to, to ever be competing and doing well again, but your assessment of the situation with Stan is, is right on. If you look at AFTV's videos and you look in the comments, you'll see my name and you'll see me, you know, having to go there saying stuff like, uh, like, oh yeah, don't talk about Kroenke, never Kroenke, never Kroenke, don't mention his name, yeah, the manager, yeah, the players, blah, 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 all this and that. Yeah, I understand. Yes, that's what I'm saying, just drums, um... It's mad, bruv, that someone in LA is far away. Obviously, we know there's a conception that people think only people close to the Premier League are real fans and real lovers and understanders, understanding people about it. But we know that's not true because it's the biggest sport in the world. So everyone loves it and there's people all over. But for someone to be all the way over there, yeah, LA, nowhere near the Emirates ground. And for you to understand and see the problem and be leaving the comments on the AFTV and just actually understanding what Stan Cronking does in the business is important because we can't see that from where we are. So, yeah, don't watch the beard, bruv. You're in good company here. That's all I'll say. Big up to LA. But, yeah, bruv, I just want to... I always notice your comments and that, and they're always positive. You always keep the traffic going and the engagement rate and everything. So I just want to say thank you, bruv. And it's good to have someone out in LA close to ground zero on the, the Cronky donkeys. You know what I'm saying? But fuck Chelsea, bruv. <laughs> So anyways, brother, that's that's my little introduction to you right there. So, uh, yeah, keep doing your thing, man. I'm on there. I'm on YouTube. I'm watching your thing. I'm, I, I comment. I say stuff to help the get the uh, the thing going, you know, uh, drive up the, uh, the uh, uh, what do they call it, the engagement, right? Uh, 
but I know YouTube's kind of funny. It's a little bitch sometimes and it tries to do weird things. But I'm on there looking at your videos, man. I got love for you. Do your thing. You're doing a good thing, man. Uh, hopefully your channel grows and uh, it's entertaining and, and, and that's that that's that's important, right? So uh anyways, what else do I got to say? Yeah, man. It is what it is. Uh big up yourself and uh keep doing your thing, man. Thank you, my man. That means a lot. It's nice to know. Do you know what I mean? There's people always like to say bad things. It's nice when the good things come. So yeah, thanks, man. Like I said, I do notice your comments and yeah, it's good talking with you. But what's I gonna say? Imagine like, what's the other channels you watch then? What other people would you put me in the category with that you watch? Like, have you got a couple that you watch? Um, yeah, who? As for what you said about Robbie owning 100% Chelsea, I, I don't know that to be true. I'll go ahead and take your word for it. Uh, I don't really want... Every once in a while, I come across those videos. I watch them. Honestly, AFTV is the only fan channel, you know. Yeah, I watch Expressions, you know. I, I, I watch some of the other stuff for fun. Um, you know, the kickoff and all, you know, all them guys, you know, I, I watch them. The content's good. If the content's good, I watch it, man. Your content is good. I watch it, you know, regardless. Uh, I'm always going to, I'm not going to throw shade at it. But AFTV, yeah, I watch it because of the personalities and everything. It's, 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 in, it's in, in, you know, I find it, I find it enjoyable, you know. Uh, but yeah, I don't really watch 100% Chelsea. I don't really watch too much of the Chelsea stuff. You know, we got enough, you know, there's, there's enough negativity with our fans, you know, that comes from a completely different place, but it is what it is, man. Oh, you shitting me, my brother. Expressions, the kickoff, Arsenal's realist. Listen, I'll take them company. Expressions is funny. I don't care if you don't like him. I think that brother's, that's quality content. The guy's funny whether you like it or not. Kickoff. Choose all these videos are top quality, whether you like it or not. So, bruv, I'm proud to be in that company. So, thanks for that, brother. That's a real compliment. And, yeah, man, I have to say, like, it's nice to know the people are watching out there. And, yeah, it means a lot. Obviously, I know you're a proud, staunch Chelsea fan and you go in for it. So, yeah, we've got a rivalry there. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I'd just like to say thanks for everything, bruv. And I would like to ask you, are you actually an NFL fan, brother? Oh yeah, brother. I forgot to tell you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not an NFL fan, man. I just drive people to LAX, the airport, all that, and you go by that stadium, that big giant complex, and that's that's what Arsenal's money is is uh, is building, right? So I took a shot of that just just to take the piss, you know. Uh, but anyways, I I uh, I have a pro the reason why we should all care about it is because it could happen to any club, right? If the Russian decides to sell us. And somebody comes in like Stan, you know, it, it could go that way too, man. I personally, I, I'm not into NFL. I hate NFL. I don't want anything to do with American football. I only got love for Chelsea and that's it. I don't got time for anything else other than football, real football, right? But yeah, man, I, I don't like, I would not allow any American uh, people with their hands in NFL teams to have anything to do with, with British football or any football, man. I, I'm afraid of all that. Yeah, well said, brother. I said like a true true football fan um so yeah yeah i agree but what would i say to you like obviously we're gonna we've talked about how in the future you're gonna go to the stadium you're gonna get some shots you're gonna talk about it you're gonna start up your own channel and that um just drums so that's cool but um yeah like what would you say what would a solution be to all of this in the grand scheme of things an american owner owning a foot like is there a um conflict of interest should it be people who love football do you know what i mean I, you know, I know it's not going to happen, but I'd love for the FA to just say, hey, listen, if you guys own NFL franchises, if you guys do, and if you cannot own, you know, you cannot own a Premier League team or anything like that, man, because they, they don't know, they don't know the culture over there. They don't, they don't understand that. And if they live here, man, and this is their life and this is the sport that they know, they want recognition over here. That's what Stan wants. He wants set recognition over here. Is, is he bothered that you guys are seeing it or not seeing his name over there that you guys, you know, the, that brother does, he doesn't give a toss, man. That brother does not care. He cares about what's going on here, right? So he's going to siphon, he's he's going to bleed your club dry, man. And, and, and AFTV and all those guys, like, they're just, they're talking about the wrong stuff, right? You know, they're not talking about what the real problem is. So 
anyways, uh, yeah, that's that's what's going on here. I'm I'm not into NFL, just so you know. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a real answer because at the end of the day, we're not saying to have businessmen can't own multiple businesses. Otherwise, that would define the point of being a businessman. But there has to be a conflict of interest, like you said. It gets to a point where this Arsenal is funding this stadium, and hopefully, you have said. Jess drums that you'll be able to maybe go to the stadium when you're ready because you work near there and you're going to do a little video around there talk to some people talk to yourself get some get some um conversations going because as we both know you and me not only are they building this new stadium Cronky's building it they're moving the headquarters of the nfl to this stadium so for me to elaborate to english people it's almost like a team building a new stadium say arsenal or chelsea and when they're building it they're also building in it a separate section for the Premier League headquarter, headquarters where every match of the day will be, every match review, every tactical show. Do you understand the level of power that Conkrey has? He's about to monopolise the whole of the NFL. That's me talking to the people. But anyway, Jess, I just want to say, I'm going to put your um, link in the description for your Instagram page. And if you do do a YouTube channel, obviously we're going to talk soon. So I'll, we'll talk throughout um, throughout the future, every time Chelsea play. And whatever we want to talk about, you're in LA. I'm going to come one day, bruv. Hopefully you could hook a Donny up. Cheap. I want somewhere cheap to stay. I want like a $20 motel on the highway with a girl with one tooth hanging out. $20! Yeah, but um, big up yourself. But... Even a Chelsea fan in LA can almost see what I'm getting at people. We've got a big problem. We have an owner in charge, a cronky ent entertainment enterprise, who does not give a shit about this club. Whether we like it or not, whether you like it or not. Ten years have gone by, we're not going to get nothing. We need defence, we're not going to get nothing. What we're going to get is Denis Suarez, yeah? What we're going to get is Carrasco, um, linked to Carrasco, then get Ceballos. What we're going to get is Pepe, because there's sellable value. They're young. We are not ever going to do it right, so... It's all good people blaming Wenger when man spent 10 mil on check and there will be had 160 in the bank and then City went and spent 150 and went and got De Bruyne or Sterling and Otamendi. I could do this all day long with all other clubs, all day long, getting clapped for Van Persie. Why not strengthen the whole team? you got a choice. Let Van Persie go because he's annoyed or give him what he wants to win the league. Players, defence, you had two, three years. It wasn't a millisecond. This was going on for three, four years. You didn't do it. Cool. Same with Sanchez. Give man what he wants or he's going to go. Build a strong team. No. We've gone on this for years. Let's not even get into the question of when Thierry Henry and where everyone left. We're not even going to start on that because I'll start headbutting the camera. But the whole point is, is, is big up to my Donny in Los Angeles. He knows that even AFTV, they're not talking about what's really going to help Arsenal because he wants Kroenke to stay. The, um, my Donny that I just spoke to from LA. Why? Because he's a Chelsea fan and he's honest. Why wouldn't you? I wanted Mourinho to stay at Man United. Do you know what I'm saying? I wanted Tim Sherwood to stay at Tottenham. Do you know what I'm saying? Come on. At the end of the day, people, it is what it is, yeah? We know the truth. People can keep skirting around the issue, but I just want to say big up to my Donny. This was just a quick video, but obviously we have got a millionaire, billionaire, richest breader in Africa, Yeah? Apparently he wants to buy Arsenal. I will be doing a video on that very shortly. And uh, also be doing a video about a witch doctor, yeah? Because it's in cahoots. But thank you, people. It's Arsenal's realist, yeah? Make sure you love your people. Make sure your people love you. This was just a quick one. And I just want to say, I watched a video about why your, um, your views will go and your comments and this and that. Why they're giving some explanations why. And this was one of their explanations. If somebody clicks on your video instantly and then clicks off... You won't get that view or comment. So, if you've got a really bad intro or a bad outro, it can tend to happen. And blood, I know that's not me because I've got the best intro on YouTube, yeah? Hola, bonjour, medhaba, kanichi, wa, guan, hello. And I've got the best outro. Make sure you love your people. Make sure your people love you. And all I'm going to say is to that is, yeah, see you later, people. One.